what is going on YouTube it's a boy Billy Kibaki and today I'm going to show you how to install Enkaku permanent firmware now the name of this firmware is called Enso and I'm going to show you how to install it usually with the first version of Enkaku you always needed to run the exploit after you done an art reboot but with with the Enso custom firmware you don't need to run the exploit anymore when you restart your system you will have the custom firmware on your system at all time so let's go ahead and get started first thing you want to do is connect your Vita using the USB cable and I'll show you right now that the exploit is not running so if I try to open Vita shell I get an error so let's go ahead and run the exploit okay so now the Enkaku exploit is now installed on the system so if I go inside Vita shell I can now access it so what you want to do from right here is go ahead and press select if you have your console connected with the USB cable to your PC and that's it now we got the the page open up on the PC now let's go ahead over to Firefox and I'll leave the link in the description so go ahead and just click on this down arrow and you can download Enso VPK after you have downloaded save it on your computer and locate it now let's copy the Enso VPK over to the VPK apps folder so just drag it and drop it right there and that's it so what we need to do now is go back over to the Vita now press circle and go to your UXO now scroll all the way down and go to the VPK apps so there is the Enso file so press X press X again press X to continue and that's it it's done so press the PS button and close the app now as you can see we now have the Enso um, icon on the main screen so go ahead and just launch it so from right here you need to press you need to press circle to accept and you need to press cross which is the X to install the hack so press X and that's it it's done now press any one of the button to reboot the console and now we have the Enso logo okay so as you saw the console just rebooted so let's go ahead and run one of the applications so let's run gravity rush and that's it so every time you reboot your system you will always have the custom firmware so remember that before we couldn't run it because we had to enable the Enkaku but as you can see now we can run any one of the application without installing it from Mocula Shell anymore so that's how you install permanent custom firmware on your PS Vita so thank you for watching guys and I will see you in my next video.